Okay, so now we're going to solve systems of linear equations using matrices and row transformations. So let's talk about how we can think of a system. All right, so here's our system, our linear system, and I would expect everybody to be able to solve this with the elimination method pretty fast. So I'm just using this as a simple example to get across the bigger idea of how to use matrix row transformations, which comes in handy with, say, bigger systems. All right, so we have two things we want to talk about. First, a coefficient matrix, and literally that is a, a matrix that contains nothing but the coefficients of your variables. Right, so in this case you've got, uh, I view this as kind of an X column, a Y column, and the answer column, so to speak. It's actually called the constant column. Uh, Alright, so if we want the coefficient matrices, then we just want the matrix that contains the coefficients. Well, the coefficients would be 2, 6, 2, and 3. And so you would write it as such. 2, 6, 2, 3. And that would be the coefficient matrix, where this first column is the X column, and the second column is the Y column, so to speak. And we'll use we will refer to the coefficient matrix uh, at a later uh, on a later discussion. All right. So uh, right now though to, we're going to talk about and spend most of our time with what's called the augmented matrix. And what the augmented matrix is is you've got the coefficients two, six, two, three, but we're also going to tag on that column that's on the other side of the equal sign, uh, the, the constant or what I refer to as the you know the answer stuff over here. Right now, what I do is da put in a little dash line right here, kind of like that's where the equals goes. Right, we've got this is the coefficients, this is the equals, and these are the you know the constants that are sitting over there. All right, so now that's our plan. This is called an augmented matrix. You can take any system, any system of linear equations, and rewrite it in its augmented form. You should also be able to take a uh, matrix that's an augmented form and write its corresponding system. You know, this would be 2x plus 6y equals 16, and 2x plus 3y equals 7. So that's what our system would look like. All right, so we're going to go back and forth. Now our goal is to take this augmented matrix and write it in what's referred to as reduced row echelon form. And that looks like this. 1, 0, 0, 1, P, and Q. P and Q are just going to be numbers. But we're going to take this matrix and transform it into this matrix using some operations, which we'll talk about in just a second. All right, so the reduced row echelon form says you've got these ones on this diagonal right here, and you got zeros everywhere else. And you got the little equal sign, and then you got numbers over here on this side. All right, now why would reduced row echelon form be useful? Well, now you can read off um, the answers. Right, this says 1x plus 0y equals p, or just simply x equals p. And this one down here says 0x plus 1y equals q. So y is equal to q. So if you have it down in reduced row echelon form, you can just read off the solutions real quick. All right, so that's our plan. All right, so to get from the augmented matrix down to reduced row echelon form, there is quite a bit of work to do, and there's lots of room for error. All right, so let's start by talking about what we can do with a, an augmented matrix there. All right, so make a note, there are three basic row transformations. You can take any two rows and interchange them. That should not change the solution to your system, right? All right, go back to... Uh, here, All right? If you interchange these two rows, just switch it and put this one on top and and the first one on the bottom, and solve it, you still get the same solution, right? All right. So that just means that over here in our augmented form, we could just say, well, let's switch this row and this row. They just switch places, All right? The elements of one row may be multiplied by a non-zero number. So that just means you can multiply any row by any number you want except for zero. So again, back here on this situation, that's like saying, well, let's multiply this first row here by negative one. Then make this a negative 2x, a negative 6y, a negative 16. Right? You can do that. That's not going to change the solution to the system in the end, right? Okay, so again, no problems with that. We're just going to be doing it in terms of uh, matrix notation. All right, now the last one is the harder one to see until we actually see an example. And what it's saying is we can take any row and change it by adding to the elements of that row a multiple of the corresponding elements of another row. Right? This is where we're going to be um, getting our zeros. All right? So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to multiply one row by a number and add that to another row. And the row that you add to 
is the row that's going to change. All right, I think we need to see an example. So make sure you see the next video for a couple of examples. Study well, and please let me know if you have any questions.